Welcome back guys to another Rust server tutorial from me Adder. Now if you're following along with my Rust server tutorial series, welcome back. And if or if not, if you just want to know how to set up clans on your Rust server, then you're in the right place. I'll get to it and show you how to do it. So first off, you want to load up a browser and search umod. Should be the top search that comes in here. You just click on that. Then under plugins, you want to search for clans. So it's like clans in there. Oh. What have I done? Clans, there we go, sorry. And there is the one we're looking for is Clans by Kill You. So click on that, click the download button. And that downloads in the bottom corner there. I've already got one downloaded, so I'll make sure I use the one that doesn't have the one and the brackets on it. Um, so there we go. So once we've downloaded that Clans file, we can now close our browser. Then what we're going to do is we are going to quickly load up our Rust server. So for me, that is in my C drive and it is under Rust server. And then I'm going to run my batch file and I'll come back as soon as that's loaded up. Okay, now the server is loaded up, what we'll do is we will load up Rust quickly and then we will drop the plugin into the Oxide plugins folder and we'll see that load up. So if I just quickly load up Rust as well. Okay, Rust is loaded. We're just going to quickly go into my server that I've hosted on this computer, so which is called Add a Server. Go into that and load that up. Okay, so now I'm into the server as you can see. So what we want to do now is we want to quickly go back into a file explorer and what we want to do is find the download there it is there of clans. So I want to copy that and then I want to go into my Rust server folder which is for me on my C drive under Rust server. Go under Rust DS folder find the oxide folder and then the plugins folder and paste that clans cs file into this folder so if i paste that there we go that's pasted into there now now if i go into my server window it says clans was compiled successfully and the clans plugin was by kill you has been loaded so before i go into the game uh, there's one more thing we should do in the file explorer is if we go back to the oxide folder we got the config and the data file so the data is just going to store obviously the data of all the clans that get created and who's in what clans and stuff but the config file there's a few things in there that we can change so if we go into config folder and now we can see we got a clans JSON folder uh, file. Sorry, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce them. So if I just edit this clans file, edit. We got a few things here. So obviously you got some limitations that you can set. So um, the max amount of alliances you can create with other clans. Um, then you've got the maximum clan member count set to eight as default, which is pretty good because I think the max number of players you can roam in in a party is eight which is good. Um, then you've got max moderators per clan, which is two. And then you've got some colors that you can change. So clan and alliance chat is set to a color that I'm not sure what this color is. Um, um, you've got the clan tag color, which is another hex code color. Um, I think that one's purple. Uh, we'll check in a minute. Um, and you can obviously all change these. Just Google whatever color you want and it will give you in hex color so say say if you wanted green just google green hex code and it will come up and you just put that hex number in there and that's fine highlight color message color all the same and there's a few settings down here data save timer so every 600 seconds it saves the data in case the server crashes then you've got maximum number of characters in a clan tag so you can go up to six on default minimum number of characters in a clan tag is two Obviously, these are subject to change. I mean, you could make them maximum and minimum three. So everyone on the server has to have a three character clan tag if you wanted. Totally up to you. Um, obviously, you want um, show clan member connection message true, which is handy to have so you know when your friends, your clan mates are coming online and when they're getting offline. Basically, that's these two here. They're default set to true. Um, so it's just a few things in there that you can change. 
So I'm going to leave them as default. So I'm just going to close it. But if you change anything, you need to save that. So what we'll do now is go into the game quickly. Now if we're in the game, if I type something in chat, it shows nothing. Because I haven't created a clan yet. So what I'll do is I'll go through the help options and I'll start going through all the options for you for this mod. Just so you can get a feel on how to do it. So the first one you want to learn is forward slash clan help. You type that in and you've got three options. You've got clan help member clan help moderator and clan help owner so if we do forward slash clan help member clan help member we've got some more options now if you want to send a message to everyone in your clan it is forward slash c and then a message just put yo yo and it says unable to find your clan data because I'm not in a clan Okay, so brilliant. So what we'll do is we'll skip those first two and we will drop down to forward slash clan create. Then it says my tag. So I've got my clan set to a minimum of two characters and a maximum of six. So I'm just going to create one called test. Hit enter. I've su successfully created a clan called test. So if I type something, it says I'm in clan test. So if I go back now and do forward slash C, type something, yo yo, there we are, I've put a clan message up saying whatever you want to say to your clan members. Um, there's also an option as we can see a bit further down was forward slash A, that basically sends a message to your allied clan members. So obviously if I try and do that now, I've not got any allied clans, so it's just gonna decline it. Yep, that's declined. Next up, what do we have? So we've got the clan join tag. So if you've been invited to a clan by someone who's created one, you can type forward slash clan join and then type the name of the clan that you've been invited to and you will actually join that clan. Obviously, I'm already in a clan and I've not had an invite from anyone, so that wasn't going to work, but that's how that works. And then last off, there is forward slash clan leave. So that you can leave the clan. Um, I'm going to rejoin it quickly just in case I need it. Um, just. So that covers that. So next up, what we have is we have forward slash clan moderator. So in here, oops, forward slash clan help. Forward slash clan help moderator. Enter. So what we got in here is we got a couple of options in this one. We have forward slash clan help member, um, sorry, forward slash clan invite. So this is where you send your invites to someone in your clan. So you would type forward slash clan invite and then their name. Um, I think you can do partial names on this. So for example, if their name was two words, you can sometimes just use the first word of their name. So just say, for example, if it, their name was, I don't know, Dark Energy or something like that, you could just use Dark, and I think it will invite that person to that clan. If there's two people with the name first net word Dark in their name, I think it will say you can't do it, but um, that solves that. Also, you can cancel invites by doing forward slash invite cancel, and then that same name again, partial name and that will solve that and you can also kick people and it's forward slash clan kick and then their name again so and that does all your moderator stuff for once you have a clan and then last off there is forward slash clan help owner now under the owner you've got promote so you can type forward slash clan promote and then their name, which will um, effectively make them a moderator in your clan if you own it. Um, also, you can do forward slash demote. So if someone you've promoted you needs dropping down because they're abusing their moderator powers in your clan, you can drop them down by using forward slash clan demote. Um, you also have disband. If you want to disband the whole clan, you can type disband, forward slash clan disband. Then the last few are just to do with allying with other clans 
and they are forward slash clan ally request and then their clan tag and so you will send a request to, for, to be an ally with that clan you've also got forward slash, uh, slash clan ally accept so if someone has sent you a request to ally with them you can accept that so you type accept and then the clan tag um, you've also got decline so if they send you a request and you don't want to accept it you can use decline and then their clan tag and then the last one is cancel so if you've sent an invite to another clan and then you want to cancel it you just use forward slash clan ally cancel and then their clan tag and that pretty much covers all the options for this clans mod it's very simple it's very self-explanatory the only one you really need to remember is forward slash clan help because from clan help you can go to every other option by reading what comes up um, so I hope this has helped you guys. I hope I've covered everything. If I haven't, I'm sorry. If you have any problems, don't don't be scared to message me. I am. I will help you out. Um, I have set this up on multiple servers, so I do know what I'm doing. And yeah, um, if it has helped you at all, don't forget to like um, and drop a subscribe for me. That's only going to help me out. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later.